Hi folks, I'm Made for Two Guys Who Ride. Today Rob and I are here at the bike show and we're here with Joel from Backbone Built Bikes. And we have just a stunning uh, custom bike that you've built from the frame up. Basically, so, yep. what is it? It started out as a 2004 Heritage Softail. Pretty much tore down to the frame. I say back half the frame, modify the rear of the frame. Um, and pretty much from there, it's, it's machining the swing arms, uh, engine work with Revolution Performance. Um, make my handlebars, tunnel the tanks, uh, widen tanks, you name it, we do it. All right, so let's 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 start up here in the back because this is something that that you're sort of known for here, right? With your swing arms. Yeah, I'm known for custom swing arms that allow a bike to lay frame if you choose, um, and we machine and and do inlays for engraving whatever the uh, customer wants. So the customer can then customize it, right? Yep, they can okay. customize it. But just taking a look at this engraving down here, I mean, this right. is this beautiful metal engraving. If you take a look at it, folks. You are going to start to see the pictures pop out of here. Absolutely. That you do not Absolutely. see it the first take, probably the second, third, or fourth take. Absolutely. So my buddy, Misfit Skinny Customs, uh, Freddie Shepard, he's in Indianapolis, Indiana. He does all my artwork. So I basically give him free reign and tell him kind of what I'm thinking, and he goes. A, a few of the things that you want in there for sure. Yep. And we've, you've also got it back here on the. On the books. axle covers, yep. I call it. Yep. And then the seat is another incredible piece. Yep, I mean, it's just... We make that seat and modify it to fit the frames, sit them what, nice and low. And uh, you've got to grind out the seat though, right? You send him the seat or, or do you, does he actually make the seat? No, nope, I actually make the seat okay, and bend it and roll it. And then uh, that's 10 gauge steel and then I send it to him. And he, he put the rivets in there and did all the artwork. Okay, so let, let's talk about the tank for a minute because it, it's it's... A Harley Davidson tank, but Harley doesn't make a tank like this. So no, what did you do to it? It's very similar to a Harley tank. What I did was cut the bottom out and I tunneled it so it sits a little lower to the frame and then okay. I put small arches on the bottom of the tank so it kind of flows a little more. So you can see more of the engine. Okay. And I love that matte blue. It's a matte blue, and yep. Just enough chrome. Yep, just you chrome know, accents throughout the bike. Right, I love that. And then the, the match is sort of off-white. And I didn't even notice this before, but you're pinstriping. Yep, ghost, on the side. ghost pinstriping, yep. So is that a decal or is that painted? That's actually painted, yep. Ooh. And so down here... That's all um, paint. That's all paint. Yep. All hand done. Yep. Holy smoly. So let's talk about, uh, you know, so you start from the frame up, right? Yep. So do you put in a pre-made engine or do you... This is a Harley-Davidson engine um, and then I, I strip that down. I take the heads to Revolution Performance and then I use their 98 cubic inch, which is a... Uh, they're known for their cylinders, so they have their own cylinders. So okay. it's a 98 cubic inch, bumps it up from a stock 88 cubic inch that comes from the factory and they, they redo the heads, okay. um, pour them out and... Uh, and then basically when I get it, it's ready for assembly. So I do all the assembly. All the assembly too. So as far as, it's uh, right about 90, what well you said, 90? 90, 90, 90, 90 cubic inch. Okay. So, man, I love the exhaust. Thank you. How it's chopped off so you can get that, you know, that, so you get the full swing arm. Yep. Now, some people may be wondering if they have not uh, seen a, a motorcycle that'll lay down. This has got air suspension on it. Air, air, air in the rear, yep. Okay, so about how high up does it ride when it's fully aired up? It's about four and a half inches fully aired, yep. Okay. Which begs the question then, this this rear fender here. Yep. <laughs> when that goes up, does that tilt back a little bit more? Or is that about where it stays? It it, it follows with the swing arm. Okay. So when the when it raises up, it follows with the swing arm so and travels little, with the You're going to get about four more inches of protection there. Right, yep. <laughs> Or Or a nice back rest. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, on the handlebars, which you machine, I notice you've got a couple buttons over on the left here. Yep, that so, controls that controls the bike. So I, you hit the kill switch, and that'll control your air ride, your headlights, start button, kill switch, high low beam. All right. So I, I'm assuming since they're you know they're not labeled, you have to help the customer figure out which one is which, or just send them on their own and say, just push one and see what happens. I usually sit down with them and let them. I give them a I'm little sure. little teaching. Yeah. Yeah. Again, up here, you've got this, I, I love the, uh, now I call it gunmetal gray, but I don't know what color that is. That's actually Cerakote gun coating. Oh, it is. So I wasn't far off. All right. I, I love that color. I mean, it's just, uh, I think artistically, the 
color matching you've done in here in, in combination is just beautiful. So again, metal etching, just, I mean, on the smallest little details, exactly. but man, it sure, it just brings that design all the way through. And on the front forks, yep. oh my gosh. And the rockers, yeah. Man. Now, um, your headlight is uh, LED? LED JW speaker headlight. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then uh, the rims. I, I know you said you do make some of your own rims. I make some of my own rims, yep. But that's those are fully machined out of billet, spun billet wheel blanks. Oh, uh, SMT man. out of Arizona does that. Okay. So. And then on this side, of course, you got your brake, is that I'm assuming? Yep. Okay. And then let's walk around on this side. All right, so front brake, like standard, right? Yep. Okay. Nope. That's your clutch. Oh, that's there's your no clutch. front brake. Oh, so your rear brake. No front brake. Rear brake yeah. only the runs front the rear brake. Would be on the other side. Yep. Okay. Well, that's the clutch, and then your shifter. Yep. And how many gears does it have? Five. It's five, five speed. Yep. Okay, five speed. Now, right in the back, there's a little black. Almost looks like a light. That's your tail light and brake light. That is a tail light and brake light. Okay. Man, I'll tell you what. This must be a like a powder coat of black on the engine or yep, what? Yep, that's that's a standard textured black. Okay, is it, yep. and do you put that do you put that on there? It comes from Millennium Technologies, okay. but I like to use that throughout my bikes, maybe on other builds. Yeah. And then I do that myself too. You can get, do that and powder okay. coat it. Yep. A couple more questions for you. One is, I know you, you, you get a frame and you start with that and you tear it down. Yep. But well, what's the inspiration? What do you, I mean, most art, artists will look at something and, you know, something, I mean, do you start a project and say, this is exactly what I'm going to do? Or do you kind of strip it down and then? Usually what I do is I, I think of a tire size I want to run. Okay. And from that tire size, I basically cut out maybe some cardboard pieces. Okay. And put them on my, a flat, my, my lift, yep. my table lift, and pretty much go from there with the frame and two, two different tire sizes. And basically start mocking it up and then and then start sketching. I like to do a lot of sketches, and, okay. uh, and then I send it out to a friend of mine in Arizona. Uh, he's, he's known as Von Butch Creations. He does renderings for me that actually looks. Takes your drawings and makes them look yes, good. Yes, absolutely. Which is which is nice to look at. You say, oh, that's what I drew. And I like to give that to my customers, because then they can see, wow, this absolutely. is what you're, we're actually going to do. And I'm like, yeah, let's go for it. And, that I mean, that's that's it's obviously you're quite the artist. Thank you, I appreciate uh, it. To me, this is a rolling piece of art. I mean, there's just no mistaking. I mean, not only is it a functional motorcycle, but just beautiful. Now, the question people might have is, how does it ride? I mean, you got these huge tires, you got the air suspension. It's beautiful. It, they actually ride. It actually rode phenomenal because the extended swing arm. It's almost the longer wheelbase you have on a vehicle. These, yeah. it, it's nicer going down the road. And that's the way it is. So, wow. What? So, what got you into motorcycles or building custom motorcycles in the first place? I just started doing it out of my garage years and years ago, and my wife finally said, "You know." And then I built one for myself that I had, and uh, I went to the Harley Museum, and I ended up winning first place out of at oh, the wow. hundred at the hundred and I can't remember what anniversary it was, but it was out of in my class. It was forty three bikes, and I got first. And she said, "You know, you should start doing this a little more seriously." You know. And uh, so I got into it. You know, I was in the corporate world for 25 years, okay. and in 2018, I decided to uh, do this full time. So just in 2018, man. So it's always interesting to see where people come from in their in their careers, because usually, you know, I mean, there was some interest to draw in the first place. Because I'm imagining you've probably always been into motorcycles. Absolutely, since okay. I was a little kid. So did your did your dad have one or? Uh, my uncles had them. Your yep. uncles my had dad was a car guy. Okay. So, but. My uncles had them, and I always was intrigued by them. We always had dirt bikes, so. Boy, well, do you have an engineering background then that you're able to design this, or? I do. I actually went to school for civil and structural engineering. Okay, so you so you do have that aspect. Right. Well, it's interesting. We meet all sorts of people that have like nothing to do with what they're doing, but they're just gifted that, and that's what they like. Yep. Boy, Joel, this this is absolutely a stunning bike. Thank you for taking your time. You betcha. All right, so uh, right before we wrap up here, Joel. Um, you know, if people want to look up uh, Backbone Built Bikes, where are they going to find you? Um, I'm located in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, which okay. is just uh, 40 miles north of Milwaukee. And um, they can get a hold of me. They can look me up on Facebook or Instagram. Okay. Or they can just uh, give the shop a call. So okay. I, do you have a website? I that do have can... a website that we're, we are currently working on and updating. Okay. So it's under construction, but it's... Uh, you can e also email me at backbonebuilt at yahoo.com. Okay. Um, and then my, my website is backbonebuilt.com.
Right. And uh, if you check out our, our uh, social media posts, folks, we'll have their uh, Facebook and Instagram links there for you to click on, too. Excellent. So, you know, Joel, thank you so much for taking you your betcha. time. Man, do thank we ever you. appreciate it. Thank you. What a talented guy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.